the beginning then so um from when summer so summer goes missing and then um it starts to come out that she's disappeared alice starts to become aware of it she's at the ball field when you mm. speak to her afterwards mm. after the event and she starts telling you what happened when she pulled up with the truck what did she say to you about that day she told me that she never went to the truck and that she beat herself up every day all the time about it because she wished that she would have went over there but she did not go over there so i don't know why she keeps lying i think that she's using that little girl for attention and for people to feel sorry for her and i just don't think it's right no it's all no. it is very very wrong. And she knows that Hunter is not in foster care and she knows that he's in trouble. She knows he does smoke weed and smoke cigarettes and everything else. He done it before that day and she allows it. So it just makes me mad that she's trying to lie and act like she's something that she's not. Mm. But yeah, I mean, the, I think the most concerning thing to me, I mean, we can get into everything else, but like the one big thing is like, her telling everybody that she didn't go over to the truck is a big thing because if you've watched the interviews online she's told multiple sources that she got up from where you're like sat now like on her little balcony she went over to the truck and she saw summer yeah i don't well, understand just, why on the camera right here is her porch right there she is probably i think coming in and um she's she, she Oh, God. It's probably about to be an argument, but I don't care. Whatever. They lie. Yeah. I mean, and the TBI are aware, aware of the lies and everything. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Cause it's it's just... a very active investigation. They, they, are, they have come on multiple times. At least once a month they come on and talk about it and let us know, you know, like as the public – that they are indeed still, you know, investigating and looking. And they, the cops know that there's the stories that are told are lies. They know that there's no uh, facts behind it. The, the one thing they do know and the only thing they know that's true is that Summer's missing and she's, she's still not home. Yeah. I just, the, the lie that she told, I, I, you know, I mean, I know we've got Hunter saying that he saw her in the car, but he was intoxicated uh, when he arrived home, as far as Ali said um, on an interview the other day. So if he was intoxicated on the way home, was he capable of knowing whether Summer was actually okay in the car? And then that's concerning because if she wasn't, you've got Ali saying that she saw her. If she hadn't have been there or she'd actually been really ill, her saying she'd seen Summer when she might when she didn't actually go over is huge because you know not only is she she lying but she could change this yeah but i think she's just saying that she's trying to cover for hunter i mean if so because she don't know what you know really she don't know what happened she wasn't there she don't know yeah. you know I, i'm when it I, my my daughter went to school with them prior to this so we knew them previously but um when my daughter started teenage girls lord help us but um you know they harbored my daughter for over 12 hours when she ran away and lied to, and lied to the police told me dead to my face that she wasn't yeah. in that house and she was very well in that house so my thing is if you will lie for that for a, a minor who was barely 12 years old only 12 years old for barely 30 days um you're gonna help your so-called ex-best friend cover up um you know there's drug use on both sides on that part and i just feel you know they know hunter knows candace and them know but they will not come forth and say anything and it's very just i don't know it's sickening because it's a child yeah, yeah and you know 
Did she act like uh, Hunter was disturbed and this and that? That's not true. That's so not true. He violated probation. Yes. He, he's in juvenile detention for getting in trouble. So, I mean, mm-hmm. they lie about everything. So, it's like, you lie about small stuff? You're not, I mean, what else you lie about? I think our, our boys go to school, went to school with him. I mean, up until he got sent off. So yeah. I just want to believe what they say for her to come in and act on like a hero and this and that. I don't believe that. I think she's crazy. She told me the night that Summer disappeared that she was on her front porch and she heard Summer telling her that she was home, talking about letting Summer know that she was there with her. Summer was letting Allie know, hey, I'm here, I'm home. In spirit. Why would she say that? Mm. That was that was quite odd. I found that quite disturbing when she said that. I mean, yeah. she's going to she's literally gone a couple hours and you're already saying that you hear a spirit right. and that she, she's there. I mean, that's, why would you say that? If you don't know something else, why? Yeah. You know, you've, you've apparently seen her in the car, but then, you know, we've got audio of you saying you never looked in the cab. Um, it just... And, and lying, I mean, to, whether it's be to protect him. I mean, I mean, listen to this. No, I didn't look in the cab. And she told, she told me personally on when I, on, she sat on her porch and told me her side of the story that she, she went out there and looked and seen Summer in the vehicle. She told me that herself. She did. Yeah, and she told me that she did. So it's like, what? I mean, why are you lying? Why do you keep on changing your story? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. There's, there's. I mean, the only reason why I would guess you would change your story is to protect your child. But even then, I mean, I would, I wouldn't be able to protect my child if I thought there was something going on. I mean, do you think that anything could have gone on that day when they were at the swim hall? Because it just seems strange that not only does she apparently become ill while she's down there? Um, he's intoxicated when he comes back. Um, you've got Ali saying one thing and then the next. It's like we don't get any truths. It's trying to know the truth. There's a TikTok, yeah, video. A TikTok video of that day of them showing summer and hunter at that swim hole is very weird it's very odd i don't i don't know she swims away from him like she tries to get away from him yeah and i mean i don't know if you know there was a channel molly go lightly and she actually went out to tennessee and she took some some great photos while she was there but one of them just see if i uploaded it or not um I don't know if this is it. It's not the best, but you can see as the waters receded, you can see yeah. all of the branches where, so they would, you can see where the water line would normally come up to. And those branches are quite far out. I mean, it's just concerning you throwing a kiddie off your shoulders, for instance, or you're playing in the water. It wouldn't take much to get injured, you know? Yeah. Uh, we take our boat out on that lake every summer and we have actually pulled our boat into the to where they were at which is like to the left of where the horses are located and um that's a very um like rocky part like you if the water's down some you can swim but if the water is uh, you know if it's full and the water they're you know they're it's harder if you can't it's you can't go out on there mm-hmm. you get beat up it's slow rocks yeah <laughs> And somebody's left a comment here saying um, Ali, told, Ali told another channel that H got home from his girlfriend's house and he was rocking back and forth in his room and it took everything for her and her friend to get him out of his room. I mean, if that's the case, I have i don't know if I've heard that. I don't think I have. Have you heard that, Kat? No, not, direct, not directly that quote. But um, I did want to just quickly ask something um, at this point, just before we carry on. And that was, um, did you any of you guys ever meet Summer or did you know her or Candace or Don at all? I have met them, actually. Yes. I live two houses. That, I live here. I'm Melissa's neighbor as well. I live two houses up from them. Um, 
They played so at this someone. park right over here with all of our kids. <laughs> yeah, my Real son, kids. my son's aunt lives over there near them, and uh, they had the Halloween before summer went missing. They had did a corn maze over there, and summer was out there uh, helping them scare like you know people and stuff. They let the kids get out there and have fun and get on the little corn things and like dress up and stuff and my son had played with her and said that she was really sweet and she was fun and you know it's hard on these kids because they knew her yeah yeah so how do you think it's affected you any of you guys some ago missing like personally just kind of for a second leaving alia's side have any of you or your family been affected by summer's disappearance at all yeah, I've consumed myself with it because it's too close to home. It's too scary. Yeah. Okay. It's right. your community, isn't it? It's your community that you yeah. live in. So, yeah, I can imagine well, not that. only that, just not even a year or get two, maybe two years prior to this, we had a 18-month-old go missing, and unfortunately, they found her, and she was dead, and her mom is now in jail for that. But, you oh, know, no. it's wow. that's God, that's two, two babies. That's two babies. And, um, you know, I tell my daughter every day, you could have, whatever, it could have been you. Like, I could have maybe not found you. Maybe they, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just always think about that. And our kids, because, you know, if mm. something took her, what if they stopped, you know, everywhere they went? Like, what if they're watching our children play? And I'm over here every day. In. Yeah, oh, you've got to that. keep an eye out for it's them. Kind of in, it's interesting to get that perspective, like, uh, you know, how it's kind of impacted the community as well. Mm -hmm, like, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, the other um, thing they were, hang you know, I don't think they can hear me. The other day there was a post um, where there was a lady and somebody in a van trying to get this little girl to get in the car with her, and one of the neighbors had seen it and came over there, and they drove off. So it's, it's really scary because it's like, did something really happen to her, or is there somebody out here trying to snatch our kids? Yeah, you know, it's like, the right. unknown. Right. So as a kid, what, it's what like happened. concerning. Sorry. Um, I, I want a lot of people is just lying too much. Mm. There's a comment here from Cher. She's another content creator. Hi, Cher. She says, um, when Ali says that when H got home, he told her that Summer was alive in the truck. Why was Summer being alive or dead, even a conversation when H got home? Which I think is a, a, quite a good question. Yeah, because she hadn't even you went know. missing yet. Right. Yeah, it just all hadn't even went in. Yeah, it's like her making the comment about, you know, her and her spirit telling her that she was there with her. She mm -hmm. hadn't even been gone a couple of hours. Why mm -hmm. would you make comments like that? It's just... I mean, none of it makes sense. None of any it. of it. None. None. No. So, what kind um, of neighbors are um? Um. Are okay, you these won't people? Know. You won't know. Uh, I can tell. You. Guys, do you want to know, guys? Does anybody want to know? Or <laughs> yeah, I'm really interested. yeah, go on, tell us. What's tell it us. like living next door to them? <laughs> Yeah, they're on the front. I want to live next door to them. They're loud and obnoxious. They, they cuss are, their kids. Um, I call them the Yankees. That may sound <laughs> awful, but I, oh well. But um, I just got into it again with them last night because they're awful. They run their mouth. They think they can bully people. And not over here. They're done. So wish I'm surprised you've not heard them since we've been on this recording, screaming and yelling at their children. Uh, do they scream and yell a lot? Yes. Yeah, they're on the front porch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You did tell me a story about the snake and the rats. Yes. Yeah. I was terrified. terrified. Yeah, so apparently awful. there's rats and things that live next door. Yeah, but we don't live like that around here. That's not normal. No, no, no. no That's the way it does. No. no, but you don't want it coming over to your house, do you? Exactly. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Exactly. And for you yeah. to act like the house is the problem, no, these the house is nice. The home is what you make it, it's and the people. Exactly. It's the people. 
So if you've got rats and roaches and snakes in your house, and the way they exaggerated it and act like it was a copperhead snake when it was clearly not a copperhead snake, I was just mind blown. And I just want to make this statement, and I just want to make this very clear. I tried to be good to these people. Mm -hmm. I've given their daughter clothes mm -hmm. when she didn't have any for, to start school with this year. Yeah. I gave, you know, clothes daughter i gave you know 10 for two pairs of tennis shoes mm -hmm. that you know my daughter only wore a couple of times i gave a brand new pair of tennis shoes that Amazing. my son only maybe wore like two times i mean like never even got a thank you still just countless times of just constant drama and it's just ridiculous mm -hmm. it's it, yeah, I got upset because I had given them um, clothes, shoes, and food and stuff. And then you turn around and see these 260 quarters by screen TVs on your back porch. It's like, yeah. I was watching a channel the other day, and Ali's been on it frequently. And, um, you know, the first thing they do is put her cash out for everybody. Now, you know, I have no room to speak. I have a channel here. I obviously have a cash up. I have people that send super chats every now and again, and it's all very much appreciated. But suspects, making friends with suspects and putting cash apps up to me is, I mean, to me, it's its not correct. But I mean, everybody has their own opinion on that. What do you think to that? I think why they do this is because they want sympathy and they mm -hmm. want handouts from people. And I think that's all correct. And I've done that, little, and I've done that, and got burnt so many times. And, and and I'm just, I'm tired, I'm tired of the laws and being burnt and and yeah, we're being made out to be it. something that it that, that they're that they're not. Mm -hmm. She's definitely no hero. Yeah, because if that was, then you would be telling you'd be telling Hunter what's the truth, mm -hmm. like what's where's the truth, like what is the truth, so we can, you know what I mean. Bring the little girl I mean, home to be a hero. Yeah, I mean, that's why, to me, the, the, the big lie to me is her saying that she got up off that porch and went over to that truck. Because if something had happened to Summer, and say, for instance, she never made it back to that, th that house that night, that day, in that truck, by, you know, it could be that H doesn't want to say or he was too intoxicated to know or something but by Ali turning around and saying she got up off that porch and went over to that truck and telling the TBI that and telling people online that she did Hi. Uh -oh. we are telling the truth. that's what we like you're a liar you are not telling hey, the truth uh -oh. Uh -oh. You're not being harassed. Somebody's talking to you. She's recording us. I'm mad because we're recording. We're, we're telling the That's truth. That's fine. She is at the whole crap church. Ignore her. No, because this is what we have to do with. This, yeah, it's on a daily. But you, it's bullshit for us to do an interview. Hang up. No one knows what's going on.